Welcome, 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 eSim Studios. My name is Taylor Bell. Big Pixel news today. All my Pixel users out there, hashtag Team Pixel. Pixel 8 Pro users are receiving an update today for a new Google app called AI Core. This background service is responsible for powering AI-driven features across all Pixel 8 Pro users, keeping those features up to date and providing AI functionality to all other apps. While you won't interact with AI Core directly, it does play an important role in delivering AI-powered experiences on your Pixel 8 Pro, running mostly as a background service. Some of the features that AI Core helps to power include automatic scene detection for your camera, enhanced Google Assistant responses, and more personalized recommendations. And many of these listed as the exclusive smart features of the Pixel A Pro that sets this smartphone aside from all others like Samsung, like OnePlus, like nothing, sets it aside. Oh, did I forget to mention iPhone? In addition to those features mentioned above, AI Core is also responsible for managing on-device AI models that power features like Magic Eraser and Photo Unblur. These models are constantly being updated to improve their performance, and AI Core ensures that your device has the latest AI models installed. If you are a Pixel 8 Pro user, definitely head over to the Play Store to apply this update. Now, you will also receive the AI Core update automatically if you do not check within the next few days, I'm assuming. With the AI Core update, your Pixel 8 Pro is equipped to deliver an even more seamless and intelligent user experience powered by the latest AI advancements from Google. Now, I'm glad that Google is pushing this update to AI core app. It is not available for Pixel 8 users or older Pixel devices. Um, they said it will be available at some point. They did not give a time frame, but this does come in anticipation for the big December update. As you know, on la at launch for the Pixel 8 series, um, Google displayed all the cool AI functionality and features that um, that this device um, can do, right? However, at launch, those features and function and AI functionalities were missing. Um, it does do some stuff, and I will show an example here in just a second, but this app, this AI core app update means that the huge AI capabilities that this phone has and is capable of is just around the corner. As I said, December is what, just a few days away. And I believe the update is probably about two weeks away. So here in about two weeks, you sh your, your, your Pixel, and again, only for the Pro, your Pixel 8 Pro should do e any, everything that they displayed at the launch, you know, face swap and um, all that other stuff that um, as soon as we get that update, we will uh, show you exactly what all those AI, those cool AI. I didn't mean to shit all on the AI. It's really cool. So that's why I'm really excited. I cannot wait. Um, as soon as we get the update, we will go through everything. We're going to take a ton of cool photos. We're going to face swap everything. We're going to uh, go through every AI feature the update's going to entail. So this AI core app, app update, again, it doesn't have any functionality. It runs in the background. It's not an app you can go into and start tooling around and messing around uh, cool AI features. No, no, no. It doesn't have any functionality, but you can open the app. You can go into the settings and you can uh, choose the option for it to remain active in the background. As I mentioned, personal preference, but um, let's get it. For those that are not familiar with some of the AI functionality that it currently has, let's get into it. Here is a quick example of some of the AI that's on the Google Pixel 8 Pro. It is a picture of in a parking lot, right? We are in Google Photos, as you can tell up there. Simply hit the edit 
button. Now let's try and erase maybe that sign right there, right? So not only do you have the, you can enhance the photo, it just gives it, I'm not sure if you can tell, a little, little boost of uh, color enhancement, or you can hit the dynamic. Gives it a more of a dynamic look, but let's erase the sign. Now I know Magic Eraser is not new to anybody, and actually Samsung's is pretty good, but just to give you an example, of what this entails let's go ahead and select that sign now let's also select the pole let's select the base whoops there we go and we'll hit erase it'll give us a few different options here Wow, look at that. It's like it's not even there. What the hell? That's pretty damn good. So, it fills in the back portion of there, of the uh, whatever's behind the sign, pretty darn good. Let's see some of the other options it gives us. So it gives us this one, that one, that one. What the hell is different? Oh, see that red? See this red uh, uh, part of the building? It looks different. Watch the one on the left. See that one's smaller? That one's bigger? That one's smaller? That one's bigger? What was the first one? Oh, it's similar to the second one. Bigger, smaller. Or you can get a new set of results. Let's see what that does. Oops. Takes just a minute. Okay, what did he give us now? What the hell is that? That didn't turn out too well. Ta! Look at that. Well, still has some room for improvement. Uh, needs to fill in those cars a little better. Let's try it again. See what results we get. The first one is pretty good. I should have stayed with that first set. And I, I, it knows that. It'll generate the very best pictures and give them to you first. And then if you hit more, it'll go with the less best generated. So let's see what, the, what this looks like where that sign was. Again, not the best. I should have chose the first set. But I want to show an example. Now, look, if you're just looking at it with the naked eye, you can't really tell, you know, you're just like, oh, cool. But remember, the phone generated that. Uh, the sign was blocking, not this car right here, but the one on the right that we're zooming into. So, look, it's got room for improvement, but it's still pretty damn good. Now, I wonder what happens if you, t oh, you can edit it more. You can hit another thing. Like, let's do this. Watch. Okay, so let's take the wipes out. Let's take the insurance GPS tracker out. Ah. Damn it. Sometimes you have to help it. So what we'll do is we'll just circle this. Now, I bet it'll just keep the... Re I wonder if I can remove the reflection. Let's see. Yeah, let's give it a try. Again, it just takes a few seconds, about 10, 15 seconds, to generate some, oh, cool, wow. It's still got the reflection in there, damn it, in the window. But it's pretty darn good. Let's hit OK, and let's see if we can remove this. Let's see how really good this is. Let's see if we can remove that reflection. You see it right there above my uh, sticker right there on the left? Let's see if we can remove that. And we'll see what it does. I want to keep this sticker. Let's try that. 
Erase. Uh, I got pretty good. I mean, for re removing a reflection, that's pretty good. See, that one got the sticker. That one's decent. That one's jacked up. You see that? That one's decent. That one's not so much. And that one's zoomed in. Let's zoom out. It's pretty good for removing the pole, the uh, GPS tracker for the insurance, and the wipes that were on the dashboard, hand wipes, and the reflection that was in the window. We'll hit save. We'll hit save copy. There's your, can I go sideways? There we go. Here's the original. And let's go to the AI modified one. See, look where the sign was. It fills in behind the sign. So that's why the car see that truck behind the sign where it says only in yellow look below where that truck is right there where my foot where my index fingernail is so i had to fill in the light pole had to fill in the light pole had to fill in the top of the truck basically everything right there where my index finger is it had to fill in and down here as well Look, I had to fill in the lines. So look at that, it filled the lines in. Oh, it's amazing. So look, it still has some room for improvement, but that's pretty damn good. Cool. All right, y'all. Peace.